John and I got here, uh, that this university decided to establish the Tomas Rivera Mexican American Children's Book Award um, because it has been a, a great opportunity for us to showcase a book. Uh, and in doing that, um, to reflect glory on one of our most famous alums, uh, Tomas Rivera. Um, there's a need, and, and obviously this is why the Book Award was established, there's a need to focus on literature uh, and to recognize both authors and illustrators who can tell uh, the experience of Mexican Americans. Um, develop books not just for Mexican Americans, but tell the story of Mexican Americans. And all of these books, I think, are, are, are treasures for all kinds of children um, in this country. And so we're, we're delighted this year uh, to present the Tomas Rivera Award to Marisa Montes, who's of course, um, a children's author, but who interestingly also has a law background. Um, indeed, Marissa's entire background is very, very interesting. She was born in Puerto Rico, um, and then her family moved uh, to Missouri, then France, then <laughs> California. And I'm sure she can elaborate on that and, and, and give you more insights in, into that story. But uh, she grew up as an only child uh, with a great imagination and then having lived, I'm sure, in those very different places um, that, that fed the imagination. She went to school. She graduated from the University of California, Santa Cruz, and then she graduated from the California Hastings School of Law and practiced family and immigration law in San Francisco, but was writing books at home. Her first books were uh, Something Wicked in Those Woods, A Circle of Time, Juan Bobo Goes to Work, and Egg Napped. Uh, and this year, of course, she's given us the wonderful book, Los Gatos Black on Halloween. Uh, it's a story about scary things that happen uh, in a house, um, and I'm sure that the children who are listening to their parents read it, who are reading it themselves, um, are a little bit scared uh, in the middle of the book, but all is well. It's a happy ending um, because the trick-or-treaters arrive on Halloween and, and they frighten away the scary things. Uh, John and I kind of pre-tested this book. Um, we sent it uh, to our two grandchildren who are six and eight. Um, they live in Miami and they live in a very, very um, diverse and bilingual environment and they loved it. And I don't even think they were scared in the middle of it, which may tell you more about our grandchildren than it does, it does about your book. But uh, it's wonderful that on the day before Halloween um, we are uh, giving this award uh, to Marissa and because it's in verse, uh, and it weaves English, and for those of you who haven't read it, it weaves English and Spanish together beautifully in with this lyrical rhythm that runs throughout. So I would like to present this award um, in this way. Marisa Montes, to you we raise a toast of gracias, a word of praise, for the most wonderful libro we've ever seen, a perfect regalo for Halloween. Oh. <laughs> the 13th Tomas Rivera Mexican American Children's Book Award. And this is the award here, which I, I would invite all of you to come up and, and look at it uh, a little bit later. And we have the award envelope here for you also. Would you like to come up and, and make some?